Hello world, I'm here today with Adam and we're so excited to be talking about your final CS50 project. If I can just start things off and say like, this already looks incredible and I can't wait to talk about it, but first and foremost, congratulations for your project for this whole semester. Um, you should definitely be really proud of what you've created, but now I would love to hear about like, what did you create and what was your inspiration? Yeah, so this is just a, a short game that like, where you can navigate around Harvard Yard. And so the inspiration was like me and the friend who I made this with are always getting lost. <laughs> you never know where we are. So we're like, this is a good way to orient yourself in the yard and find out where things are. Right. Amazing. I also can relate. I get lost very frequently in the yard. Awesome. Yeah. Would you like to show us how it's done? Of course, yeah. So here's the game. Um, you have these different functions. Here's the instructions. So basically you just wander around the yard, it like prompts you to find a place, and then you move the player, and there are also tourists just wandering around, because <laughs> realism. <laughs> and if you bump into the tourist, you lose points. Interesting. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the game. Oh so it gives goodness. you prompts like that. Uh, the office, for instance, isn't there. But some of this <laughs> will just be like trial and error, like figuring out where things are. Right. This is so impressive. Oh no, it's lagging out. <laughs> and then, like, you can add locations if it takes those off. You can change where you want to go, and then it randomly picks, like, the path. Amazing! And that's how you win. Yeah! This is absolutely incredible. Can I just say the user like interface, like the designs and the animations, all so, so cool. Oh, thanks. That's a really tricky part of coding, for sure. Did yeah. you create the, the designs? Pretty much, yeah. We like used some tutorials to figure out the basics and then kind of adapted it for our own purposes. That's amazing. Yep. I absolutely love that. Yeah. Awesome. And there so, are also a lot of like ways you can navigate, pause buttons, play buttons. Yeah, this is super impressive. I would love to know, what was your favorite part about building out this project? And what was the toughest challenge that y'all had to overcome? Oh, it was really fun just like seeing things come together. Definitely. It took a while, but like as we started to get a functional game, it was exciting to know that like, hey, this might work. Definitely. And like going off of that, it was also very difficult starting out because we did not know anything about like Pygame or the library. This is coded in Python using the Pygame library. Right. So it's quite a learning curve there. Definitely. But y'all walk away with one of the coolest projects that I've ever seen. <laughs> this is super, super impressive. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, and Chris. one last question for yeah, you. Yeah, of course. Um, is where do you think you're going to go from here? Are you interested in game development or have you found your way around the yard more often? <laughs> Would love to know what's next. You know, I do know my way around the yard a little better. That's good. Um, what's next? I really have no clue. And that's okay. This has, yeah. Uh, maybe CS? This has definitely introduced me to, to CS50 and CS in general, which is exciting. So we'll see. Well, amazing. Thank you so much, Adam, for talking with us today and sharing your incredible project. Once again, you should be really proud and congratulations again, for sure. Awesome. Awesome. And so thank, thank you. you. And this was CS50.